This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020. We're talking this week about change and some of the difficulties and opportunities that come with it. And we've been saying all week, and it bears repeating today, that we are in a season of change. The, the pandemic has required us to change things about who we are as a community and will require more change going forward. But a lot of the changes that have happened already have been in, in fast response to events, right? So we moved online because it was not safe to be in our building and we figured out text-based giving because we, we still wanted to do an offering, that kind of thing. But the challenge this summer is a little bit different as we, as we think about the coming year. Some of the changes that we're considering are, I hope, more proactive than just reactive. So as we go through this time of change and discernment, there's three things that I, I hope we keep in mind over the summer planning season and into the fall. First, there are some changes that we have made and will make that are responses to the needs of the moment that may not be permanent. So think, for instance, of the UU Connect groups. Those are explicitly a way for us to stay connected in a time when a lot of more traditional ways of connecting are not possible, or the, the pastoral care team uh, pivoting to calling all the members of the congregation. That may not be something that they do every year, but it was something that they did this year in the response to the pandemic. But second, there are things that we've adopted during the pandemic that will almost certainly last beyond this season, right? Text-based giving, for example, is a thing that we've needed to do for a while now, but the pandemic has given us a reason to do it now. And having a robust online presence that engages people in Lincoln and across the country may be another one of these things that even after we come back into our building, which will happen, we'll continue to do in some way. And then the last thing that I, I hope we keep in mind, even in addition to this distinction between, between what's a response to the pandemic and what's proactive, is where we started this week, talking about Theodore Parker, about the transient and the permanent in faith. Basically, this idea that while the expression of a faith tradition is dependent on its context, the root faith commitment endures. That's what is permanent. So knowing what is permanent and how it's different than what is transient is an important frame during these times of congregational change. So tomorrow we'll talk about one way to keep the permanent in focus, even as we change that which is transient. See you then.